Oh god damn! Zoom in more, please. Yeah, we're just <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Call of the Night. We only have one episode left into the finale, but the plot's getting so good. Why can't we eat a season two? So far, again. Everything until the recent episodes where we met like new vampires, right? All Malzana's friends. It was just kind of, we're just chilling, we're just vibing, having good times in the nighttime. Cool, you know, hip hop rap music starts playing in the background. Oh, we're just vibing. The night lights are so cool. And now, it's not so fun anymore. New detective girl. New investigator girl. The cool trench coat kind of reminds me of the girl from Black Lagoon that I probably should know the character name, but I watched it such a long time ago. She's looking for vampires. She knows they do exist. She's done so much research. She knows how to even turn them back to human. It seems like that's what she was doing when she gave the ring to that guy who was a vampire and was trying to like basically not trying to drink any blood because I guess he still had, he wanted to be good. We're seeing the ugly side of vampires. They're not just big titty pretty waifus. No, no. Shit gets bad. They kill people and we knew that they killed people. Seri multiple times said, I'll just kill him. That's the easiest solution. I'm like, that's a little bit extreme, but I kind of just played it off because, you know, they're just all pretty and uh, sure, uh, you don't really mean that, right? I mean, we haven't seen you do it, so uh, okay. But no, vampires do kill people. And this is not just like a joke. This is a serious matter. And I think Ko at the end, when he was talking to her, I should know the investigator's no name by now. I think he got a wake up call. He said, I, I don't think I know anything about vampires, honestly. The way that she came in into the show and just like changed the entire dynamics of the show, I love it. This new direction, the plot is just blooming. But we only have this and one more episode left. So let's hope that, you know, we can get some kind of. I, I hope that last episode was like a beginning, like a little mini arc, and then it continues today, and then we wrap it up next uh, next week. But I have a feeling that it won't stay so serious. I think that we're just getting just a glimpse of, you know, the more dark, the edgy side of what vampires could be. But, you know, and then now it comes around and everything's just like a misunderstanding. We just go back to vibing. But I'm down with the darker tones. It's, this is really good. But let's watch today's episode. What? What are you doing? What? You want to drink some blood? I guess she does. Okay, go ahead. Losing it completely like that. It's a little bit traumatic. A bit? Let's talk about what happened. Shit went down. There are humans that know vampires exist. Quitting? <laughs> well, if we quit them, don't we die? Because we know about vampires and everybody else will come get us, right? Our only way out is to fall in love with her within a year timeline, right? <laughs> yeah, that's huge. What was that ring? But it turned. It sounded like when she gave him the ring, the vampire turned into the human and then disappeared, right? Or did I understand that wrong? Yeah. The vampires are scary. We just have forgot. We've honestly, we've just like been fooled into, you know, pretty vampires. Oh, we're just having a good time. But no, they're fucking terrifying. If you really think about it, what they do. Are we? Okay. Oh, <laughs> what is she taking? Why is she unbuttoning her jacket too? <laughs> there was no need for that, but it was kind of cool. Huh? Is he with his girlfriend? The older girlfriend? That's her? Or... Yes, ma'am. Okay, she's just the bar owner. Gotcha. Oh, god damn! Zoom in more, please. Yeah, we're just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's with respect, but instinctively kicks in, you know, that desire. But I just want to fly. I literally just want to become a vampire to fly, like me personally. But I, he just wants to like escape society, right? He just doesn't want to go to school. He doesn't want to like do normal human shit. There's freedom. He just got bored. 
Are you free? It's a very good question. Well, how long can this last? You think you can just do this into your adulthood and then what? What, you gonna get a fucking job somehow? Like, how? You didn't go to school! The order is mixed up. The order is mixed up. Yes. It's, it's the wrong order, man. We'll never be- We will never be able to fall in love if the goal is to become a vampire and it wasn't like a spontaneous love. But the other jealous parts, you know, the other episodes where we got jealous on both ends of the party, that seemed to work for a bit, but still, there hasn't been enough. Where are we at? Oh, are we at Ko's house? For meals. <laughs> Thanks, mom and dad. <laughs> what are you looking for? Porno mags? <laughs> there it is. Who the fuck keeps physical copies, dude? That's all on the internet. Like, who the fuck would keep incriminating... <laughs> incriminating... <laughs> <laughs> Evidence around it's a physical copy. Come on now. Oh, there was a divorce. But going conveniently, you know, nobody's home. It's perfect to bring girls over for, you know, high school kids and anime. Yeah. Ah, exactly. Hmm? To mark her dominance. <laughs> like a dog pissing on like a fire hydrant. It's mine now. Tissue implying what? Is the tissue hard? Is she not eager? It's on your end, Ko, isn't it? No, the answer right there. It's not very convincing. Ko, I think it's on your end. I think we're all waiting on your answer. And you don't make your decision. Right now then, it's not gonna be... I mean... What? Being a vampire is boring. Well, for you, obviously, it's been years and years. Of I mean, grass is always greener on the other side, but... That was some deep talk, though. For her, it just really... Time just passes and... Every day just becomes so... Redundant, I guess, huh? Meaningless days just passing over. Holy shit, we're getting pretty deep all of a sudden. Uh, why? Oh, somehow I fucking knocked you out to my bed and the night and the fucking light turned off too. All right, what are you gonna do, dude? Make your move. Now it's like, come on, get on with it. You gonna do something? He's not gonna do anything. A kiss? Faded. Yes, I did! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh. Oh. He was the fucking lick and left. But Cole, man, you gotta make your decision. How much research have you done? <laughs> Not idiotic! Maybe, but come on. It's a purely pure dream. <laughs> I'm going to school for crazy recently, good. Uh, this is way too specific. How, how did you get all this? <laughs> big titties! Well, Nasuna doesn't really have big titties, actually. <laughs> Again, no physical evidence on your phone instead. <laughs> how do you know this? Or are you just guessing at the... The first time you what? <laughs> no, that was way... It's all speculation. Uh, I mean, that, that was. I, I mean, I'm not gonna act like I knew that was all true, but then the Ko's reaction to it kind of seemed it was like genuine. I don't know if that's necessarily true. Only unhappy. Yeah, that was an exception case. Yeah, and that's where all the problem came from because he wanted to become an honorary human rather than just accepting his like fate as a vampire. Ah, uh, when we cross that bridge, we'll cross that bridge, but no, I mean we'll have to start drinking blood for sure. Have you ever thought about that, Ko? And the way the train just passes as soon as she asks that question, wow. 
just like making it's just like making Cole realize like I've never fucking thought about that. Yes, yes, because we're trying to become a vampire by falling in love. It's not the right way. Yeah, does she know about the one-year timeline? But if we don't become a vampire, can you protect us from the other vampire that's gonna kill us? The one-year thing, you know? And they, exactly, they need to protect that. But you two are a liability. How are you protecting yourself? I guess they don't really know her. Nazna wouldn't do anything to her. She might get in trouble with the other vampires, so. That's not an impossible theory. I'll honestly take my chances by joining the vampires so that I only have to fight you rather than <laughs> fighting the fucking vampires themselves, you know? <laughs> oh. Oh. Getting quite intimate there, aren't we? Yeah, anything? <laughs> oh my god. Can you protect us? You're gonna train us how to fight vampires? I... But you're just a normal human. Right? Am I assuming wrong? Her reasoning is very extreme, though. I think Ko is right there. But also, like, how could... How the fuck could she protect us and also fight off all the vampires? She's just a normal human. Huh? huh? What are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, call the cops! There's a, there's a, there's a fucking legal age adult hitting on a 14 year old boy. Me, call the fucking cops! No, she's 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 bluffing right now, right? She's bluffing right now, right? Mm. Serious? Please save me. Use your, you know, watch thing. Nazna, is that you? Oh, wait, who was? Was that the other vampire? There was like two younger vampires, Midori and probably her? Hatsuka. Why are you here? That's the episode? Jesus, that was fast. But as I said, like before I started in the intro, I'm glad that we're continuing off of the previous episode. We're not just going back to just hanging out, just vibing in the nighttime. No, we're dealing with the serious things here. Like, do you really want to become a vampire? And then what, right? What will you do? Do you understand what it even means to become a vampire? Why did you want to even become a vampire in the first day? It was about freedom. But aren't you free right now? You're basically enjoying the nighttime hanging out with Nasuna. If anything, it sounds like he just wanted a friend to hang out with at nighttime and just fuck around, right? But become a vampire has such more serious implications, right? Can you drink a person's blood? As soon as she asked that question and the train in the background just like went, wow, that was really scenic. That's like kind of just showing us like, who never thought about that? He never thought about this. In fact, everything is backwards right now. You want to become a vampire, but the prerequisite to become a vampire is to fall in love, but you're forcing yourself to fall in love. That's never going to happen, right? Man, we... <laughs> the nighttime is not fun anymore. Ever since Anko showed up, I love her right so far. Um, Even though she's just making Ko's life a nightmare. Man, what the fuck was that with the calling the cops part? Honestly, we should have just called the cops right back and say, that's a shady investigator lady that's hitting on a, on me. That I'm a 14-year-old, and I think she's a pedophile. Please apprehend her. That's what I would have fucking said, but I guess she didn't really have time to think about that. But things are getting quite serious. It's not so fun. Nazna even has some doubts about Ko. As soon as Ko asked Nazna, you're not in a hurry to be make me an offspring too, right? Like... You can see in her face. It's no, it's, that's just you, man. We're waiting on you. The longer we wait, the less time we have. And if the vampire knows about our existence, if we stop trying to become a vampire, then maybe Anko can save us. But can we really rely on Anko to against all of those vampires? And those are just the ones that we know. There has to be a lot more. I'm not gonna side with Anko to be honest. I'm gonna try to become a vampire, but it's not like we're. It's not like we're not trying. We're trying, but everything is so fucking backwards. Man, I feel trapped as Cole right now. Maybe, maybe, you know, uh, Hatsuka can give us some freedom here. Just bail us out, please. Just 
return the restore the balance of this show because right now i'm not vibing anymore but in a good way this is getting very serious and i love the darker tones that we're talking about but hey if you stick around this long if you enjoy my reaction you already know what i'm gonna say check out the other videos and playlists on my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one it helps youtube i'll go push out my small channel to be recommended so that i have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors until next time guys take care